All right, guys, so looks like we're getting some very unexpected characters alongside the ones we already knew. Looks like we're getting uh, what it looks like an extreme dispo alongside also an extreme topo. Now, these units could in indeed be sparking, but I have a feeling they're going to be extreme. But I'll be very honest with you. I absolutely love this pull's artwork. I saw somebody call him a uh, a Walmart Beerus, but you know his artwork really does him justice here. So uh, and pun not intended justice. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, let's just discuss exactly what they do because they actually look very very fitting into uh, you know what looks like to be a revamp of Universal Saga and Rivals as well. But by the way, I will be coming out with more leaks on in a few hours, like one hour from now. I will be posting more information about brand new events we're gonna get later on tonight and as well as along the week so make sure you guys turn on notifications subscribe if you guys haven't ready and uh yeah so just get ready because <laughs> i will be posting a lot today so uh yeah guys so it says here this bow is coming a ranged attack who specializes in dealing critical damage so that's really cool um we haven't really seen too many uh units as of late to do too much critical damage I feel like, you know, it's not as good as it used to be, um, or at least it used to be. So uh, we'll see if this is going to apply to maybe allies as well, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, goes on to say increases when his uh, special move arts activates. So you have to uh, use his special move uh, arts card. So a little bit time, a little bit gated there, but that's still pretty cool to see. Um, also increase when switching to standby so he can deal a lot of damage at once too. So yeah, it looks like this character is going to be a very fast-paced character, very much so like his sparking version. Not to say that this can't be a sparking because this, this very much well could be, but I don't see it being a sparking because they don't have a showcase for him. They just have this really, really sick artwork. I mean, take a look at this, guys. Very, very clean. I mean, if, if you guys want a nice, you know, screensaver or like a, for your phone or something like that, I would definitely rock this. Absolutely clean. Whoever said Walmart beer is, <laughs> you know, although he is a Walmart beer, is, he still looks very clean. Uh, next up, we got, uh, you know, Topo. I absolutely love Topo's, you know, character as a general. If you guys know me, I just, I, I love how he looks different than the rest of the uh, DB characters. So uh, let's just read what he does here because I haven't read Topo yet because I've been pretty busy. But it says here, Topo is coming. His main, rest his main ability restores allies' health and key and gives inflicted damage up. So very cool. Very much so like his uh, sparking version as well. Once again, not to say that he can't be a Sparky himself, but his sparking actually, uh, you know, uh, increases his um, increases. Uh, I mean, not increases heals his teammates as well. So that's really cool. Um, also, his special move arts will also increase allies key recovery by 50% upon activation. So that's pretty good, too. Plus, his special arts can increase enemies strike and blast cost by 10. So that's pretty cool, too. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Most likely they're going to be extreme. But to be honest with you guys, as of late, if you look at the ex last blue extreme Jiren that we got, he's actually very, very good. Very underrated, I believe so, once you have him, uh, you know, high enough stars. Um, so, yeah, I believe, you know, extreme units are good. For some reason, they're just very hard to get. I still don't get why uh, they're that much harder to get than Spark units. I feel like it should be a mixture between, uh, you know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, heroes, then extreme and then uh, followed by Sparkings and Legends Limited Units, then Ultra Units as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for, you know, collecting these. You guys know I'm a huge Pride Troopers fan. They did release more information on Jiren, and as well as, uh, you know, uh, we have uh, the real beers, not the Walmart beers here. So, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at his gameplay in a little bit, but really quick, for this uh, new beers that's going to come out tonight, and that can, that, that's actually four brand new characters tonight. It's pretty crazy. So, I'm not including the Zenkai LF Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, but I believe he will not be coming out tonight. But once again, like I said, I will be coming out with more leaks to exactly what's going to come out tonight and over the weekend as well, like a raid or something like that. So, um, yeah, it says here his special move arts can nullify an enemy's revives, uh, revivals when it reaches zero. So we already knew that. What we didn't know was his main ability. So his main ability, his main ability is actually very, very overpowered, guys. Take a look at this. So when his main ability activates, he draws, uh, his card draw speed goes up and he can nullify enemies cover change. So that right there is really, really special. And what it does not mention here is that it also, um, you know, only takes five seconds to activate his main ability. Five seconds goes like that. So really, really cool. Um, I still believe this Beerus here is going to be the... Uh, the, the, the one to shine out of all the brand new units just because he looks like he's very meta fitting in my personal opinion uh first ever to revive uh, to nullify revives uh which is really good and he has everything in his tool bag car draw speed enemies um you know special cover change nullify as well 
This is huge because everybody and their grandmothers and their dogs cover changes. It's so annoying, especially when you deal with future with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Gogeta, we got Ultra Gogeta, you know, they all cover change. Uh, it seems like everybody cover changes nowadays, even the brand new Jiren. So uh, let's just take a quick look at the brand new Jiren here because we have a little bit more information as to what we had before in the morning. Um, so let's just really quick pause it for one second. And uh, I will let that play, but it says here, special destroys all enemies' cards and increases the chance that next... What? My bad, guys. All right, so special destroys all enemies' cards and increases the next uh, strike or blast cards are... Okay, well, my bad. Hold up. Special, special destroys all enemy cards and increases the chance that next strike or blast cards will inflict faint. So this is huge, and they... Even though this is worded correctly, they could have worded it better. So, yeah, that's just my take on that. But anyways, um, that's really cool. We have not seen that in a very long time. His strike blasts, you know, has a chance to inflict faints depending on his specials. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Also, if enemy uses Rising Rush, his offensive will boost, uh, will get boosted. See, uh, that, that's what I mean about the wording. His offense will boost. See, his offense will get boosted and he'll be able to restore health when it reaches zero once. So, uh, yeah, the only thing I don't like about this journey is that he's very time-gated. or Yeah, he's kind of time-gated for a rising rush to happen. And as well as he gains 35% health back once two enemy dies. So, he's gated behind a few stuff here. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. But, you know, we, we still have to wait and see. Um, I really wonder if this is going to come out tonight, though. This is going to be the brand new replay system, as you guys know. Really cool. You can peep in, you know, GodTube, which is like YouTube, but for godly fighters in the top 1,000, so you guys might catch me there here here and there, so that's pretty funny. Um, and you can save your replays as well, so I might play on the side, save a couple replays, and post more PvP matches because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for that as well. So I really love this. I hope this comes out tonight, but I will keep you guys more updated in just one hour from now, so really excited for that. Also, I'm really excited for the uh, brand new game mode, Full Power Battle, which comes out, obviously, you know, uh, which comes out, um, we don't know yet. So uh, they gave brand new information, a ton of information that is. So uh, yeah, really excited for that. But we are getting Rivals buffs and Universal Saga buffs. So that's really interesting. And this is the Jiren I was talking about here, this Extreme Blue Jiren. Very underrated in my personal opinion. He does a tremendous amount of damage. Really, really good overall. Um, I have him at 14 stars or 13 stars. I'm not quite sure. But guys, that is going to wrap up the video. If you guys want to stay up to more dates, up to everything Dragon Ball Legends, uh, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notifications because like I said, in one hour from exactly when this video is posted, I will be coming out with more leaks about potential new you know, updates, banner details, and all that good stuff. So yeah, catch you guys in one hour from now. Have a good one. Peace.